Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello everyone welcome to second pc statistics online classes in the previous class we had discussed about how to solve the problem using binomial expansion method in this class we are going to discuss similar type of problem that is problem number 3 by binomial expansion method estimate the number of persons for the ages 24 and 30 years with the help of the following data and here given information are age are given, ages are given and number of persons are given and see here this ages observations are independent variable and this number of persons are dependent variable and we know that this independent variable is denoted by x so here x be the age then here number of uh, yes I already told this number of persons are dependent variable and dependent variable is denoted by y and so here y be the number of persons and so if it is y observation then what is 20 what is 22 what is 26 and what is 35 and what is 39 so if it is y observations in the sense so here 20 is y naught and here y1 is 22 y2 is 26 y3 is missing value then y4 is 35 y5 is 39 and y6 is missing value okay these are the dependent variables or y observations so to for this in the for this problem how to apply binomial expansion method to apply binomial expansion method there are some procedures are there in the first one is so we need to find no number of observation in y observe y observe y observation or dependent variable see in dependent variable these two observations are unknown so here no number of observations are 1 2 3 4 5 so here no number of observations are 5 that I will write n is equal to 5 and see here there are two values are missing that we can write delta naught to the power n is equal to 0 and delta 1 to the power n is equal to 0 first I will select this one that is delta naught to the power n here what is n student n is 5 so 5 is equal to 0 so here delta naught to the power n we can write y minus 1 to the power 5 is equal to 0 so now I will expand this left hand side so here, here it is y minus 1 to the power 5 that we can write y5 y3 sorry y4 y3 y2 y1 y0 is equal to 0 after that I will um, uh, I will add for this signs so for this plus and for here it is minus plus minus plus minus after that we need to multiply Pascal's triangle coefficient to this equation so Pascal's triangle method is like this see if n is equal to 0 that is the coefficient is 1 if n is 1 coefficient is 1 1 1 next if n is 2 so we need to add this to 1 plus 1 is 2 and here it is 1 1 next if n is 3 n is equal to 3 so here the coefficient is like this so 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 next we need to add 1 and 1 next so if n is equal to 4 the coefficients are like this 1 plus 3 that is 4 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 that is 4 again we need to add 1 and 1 ok next if n is equal to 5 see here our known number of dependent variables are 5 so we need n is equal to 5 coefficients so that is see 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus 6 is 10 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, so here we need to write 1 and 1, so here n is equal to 5, 
so here n for n is equal to 5 the coefficients are 1 5 10 10 5 and 1 so next we need to multiply this coefficient to this equation that is 1 into y5 is y5 5 into y4 is 5y4 10 into y3 is 10y3 10 into y2 is 10y2 5 into y1 is 5y1 then 1 into y0 is y0 only and I will call it as equation number 1. Okay, now I will substitute this y observation in this equation. So first one is y5. So y5 here is 39. Next sign is minus. Coefficient is 5 into y4. So see here y4 is 35. So in the place of y4 I will substitute 35. Next sign is plus. Next 10 into what is y3 see here y3 is missing value therefore I will write this y3 as it is next minus 10 into y2 so y2 is 26 plus 5 into what is y1 y1 is 22 so in the place of y1 I will substitute 22 then minus y0 so y0 is 20 so in the place of y0 I will substitute 20 the right hand side is equal to 0 so next 39 I will write as it is next sign is minus 5 into 35 that is 175 plus so here 10 y3 so y3 is the unknown value therefore I will write 10 y3 as it is minus 10 into 26 that is 260 plus 5 into 22 that is 110 minus 20 is equal to 0 that is so see here this 10 y3 is unknown value therefore I will leave this value with the side next the remaining I will simplify the remaining values that is 39 minus 175 then minus 260 next plus 110 then minus 20 so that is minus 30 points sorry 3 306 okay here after simplification of these values I got minus 306 so that is see I will write first I will write this value that is 10 y 3 next here we got I got after simplification of this value that is minus 306 is equal to 0. So, 0 is right hand side. So, see here this is minus 3, 306 is negative value. Therefore, I will bring this negative value right hand side that is 10 by 3 is equal to 306. So, see here we need to find the value for y3. So, that I will write y3 is equal to 306 divided by 10. So here y3 is 30.6 years. So here we got one missing value that is y3 that is 30.6. Okay, next we need to write one more, we need to find one more missing value that is y6. So how to find the one more missing value using one more equation. So how to write second equation? Second, here second equation can be obtained by yeah, increasing suffix of each term of y by 1 and keeping the coefficient and signs constant. So, suffix in the sense what? See here these values are there, no? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. These are suffixes of y. So, these suffixes are increased by 1 and here sign and coefficient and sign is there no that is this one so sign is here minus plus minus plus minus these are the signs coefficients are so these coefficients are I multiplied here no these are coefficients so these multiplied co coefficient and these signs are kept constant here and these suffix of each uh, suffix of each term increased by 1 so for therefore I will write first terms are like this y minus 5y plus 10y minus 10y plus 5y 
minus y is equal to 0. So, suffix for y, first term. So, here it is 5. So, this is increased by 1 in the sense here it is 6. So, here if it is 4, so that is increased by 1 in the sense 5. And here 3 will become 4. And here 2 will become 3. And 1 is 2. And 0 is 1. Okay, this is I will call it as equation number 2 or this is second equation. Okay, now I will substitute the values in this equation that is what is y6 here? y6 is unknown. Therefore, I will write y6 as it is minus 5 into y4. Sorry, y5 right? So, y5 is 39 plus 10 into y4. So, y4 is 35. In the place of y4, I will write 35. And minus 10 into y3. So, here y3 is missing. You see, here we got y3 value. So, y3 is 30.6. So, in the place of y2, yeah, in the place of y3, I will substitute 30.6. Next, plus 5. What is y2? y2 is 26. So, in the place of y2, I will substitute 26 minus y1. So, here y1 value is 22. So, 22 is equal to 0. So, next, see here y5, sorry, y6 is unknown value. Therefore, I will write y6 as it is minus 5 into 39 that is 195 plus 10 into 35 that is 350 minus 10 into 30.6 that is 306 plus 5 into 26 that is 130 minus 22 equal to 0. So, see here y6 is unknown value. I will write as it is. Next, so next I will simplify this remaining terms. That is minus 195 plus 350 minus 306 plus 130 then minus 22 that is minus 43. So, y6 minus 43 then right hand side that is equal to 0. See here minus y43 is negative term that I will bring this right hand side that is, that is y6 is equal to 43. So, here missing value is missing value is y6 that is 46 sorry 43 no 43 years. So, these are the missing values. Yes, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.